back here with another video day two of sneaker con chicago there is a long ass line over there but uh we're, we're gonna go ahead and see uh we'll be finding there for day two i'm gonna try to also get another pair of personals yesterday i did get some sakai's in a navy blue colorway it's gonna pop up right here but uh once we get up in there i'm gonna go ahead and hit y'all with a little brie roll uh, but uh I'm gonna hop straight into it. You catch, you catch them out? You got some for sale? I got, I got a little six, seven, uh, little piece chicken nugget over here. Let me see them. I got them over there. I got a, I got, so I got Union, Union Fours, the Desert Moss. I got um, the uh, the white cements, the recent drops, and then I also got a, uh, I got the electric orange ones. I got the Shadow Backboard Two Panos. I got a uh, undefeated ones, the green ones, mm -hmm. the Air Force ones, um, and I think my OG and my pops got some. But I'm all the way at the end of the line, so yeah, my pops. Uh, so we'll see. You got shadows? Any shadows or pollens? Uh, That's what I'm basically my pops, buying. my pops got pollens, and, and we both got uh, shadows. You let them go for. Uh, well, what am I gonna negotiate with you or him? <laughs> well, which one? For the shadows, what's that you guys got? Uh, both eleven. Eleven. I don't know if he has his. Two forties. Two forty. I take two forty. Right now. Right now. Those pollens are gonna be on my pops. Those are his. I got Zell. Zell? Yeah, you'll take it. I'll take it. Man, these are nasty. Y'all gotta check out a look. Real clean. The patent leather joints. Nasty. Wait, so what, what's he running those, uh, those fours for? He wants 2K. Two bands? And they're samples. That'd be a come up. I don't know. I mean, I don't really care that they're samples, but I get it. If you're a collector, you know, you do shit like that, you want to you want a sample just to kind of keep in the, uh, yeah. with your collection, but Specs. for me, I want to wear my shit, you know? Oh uh, yeah, straight to the toes. I, I paid 
can I just can find the problem. Who won't? And like, especially with this being a sample, bro, like. And that's the thing, like, like I said, the only thing I don't. You said it like it. Yeah, I said, meet me in the middle at 11. We're going to run this back. <laughs> meet me in the middle at 11. Come on, buddy. Y'all right? Watch this. Watch this. Come on, y'all right? Stay one. Come on. Do that for it, bro. Do that for it. I'm going to have to find this one. Point flip 11 or 1150? Yeah, you're not a gambler person. 1150, I'll do the point flip. I'll do the tail. Right. Yeah. There you go. That means next person up, just so we clear. People, I'm going to get ready to take this break. There's a lot of attempts, and you fail at most of them, but it, the, the ones that count, count big right and that's the beauty of sneaker con is that you get to interact get those hits learn those lessons in a very small amount of time and learn how to interact with all walks of life really fast and the yeah. ones that like are able to adapt and are open to altering the format or the way that they're doing it every single time are the ones that are succeeding yep. And, yep. and with urban we just want to help you get those lessons in and those wins in faster, right? Like I'm taking all the expense to get that back for you and I'm going to get you more, on average about 15% more than your favorite app with less risk. Nah, and that's what it is. And then not only that, but you already know, like back in the day, people used to go to New York and they used to go to New York and there were tons of sneaker stores in New York, resale shops and all that, but they would go to Flight Club because they just wanted to walk around with that Flight Club bag all around Soho. And they would pay 20% over market just for that bag. Now, in the West Coast, for especially Vegas, everybody that travels out there to have a night in Vegas is stopping at your shop. And, want, and, they're, and, they're, and they're going there for the experience to see the shop because it's, it's probably the most beautiful sneaker resale shop, fucking retail shop anywhere, right? And they're leaving there with, with a, with a t-shirt, right? They're, they're helping you build your brand Hello? and they're going there. So when he tells yeah. you he's gonna sell it faster and for more, so it's because those people are getting that experience that he's built into those same shoes uh, that you're trying to sell. You know, I, I, I give a lot of credit to the flight clubs, the stadium goods, the goats, the stock access. I'm not saying it just because you're standing there. I can't believe it. You guys have showed me yeah, and have been it. kind enough to open doors and be very transparent with me and allow me to exist within this industry. And you know, the reality of what you said is very true. The brands like Flight Club, today Stadium Goods is showing you, people are excited about walking around with a bag that says Stadium Goods and they're not even selling shoes here, but they're rocking it proudly, which is dope. It speaks volumes about the brand that they've built. They're going about it the right way, right? When I started my brand, to me, these were the brands that were there before me and a little bit started a little bit after me, but are killing it and are getting the support to be able to breathe and have essentially the tentacles globally to touch and create that emotion. And for me, it was the same thing. I'm looking at them, I'm still a mom and pop. I'm still one of you guys, right? I'm working harder now more than ever because I have so many of you guys allowing me to make a dollar with you. And I don't want to mess this up for none of y'all. But I'm telling you what we're building right now is a very different format of retail. And it, it is becoming the standard as to how an in-store experience should be. And with the curiosity now higher than ever, these events showing it to you, all these resale stores that are popping up left and right, all these apps that are like being integrated to the stores and to like there's there's just layer on layer on layer being added like this is the easiest it's ever been for me to ever sell a shoe and everyone that comes to vegas that's looking at sneakers that's in a sneakers at some point gets told you gotta go to urban necessity i've seen it i right? saw it i was there the that's highest foot traffic store in the entire state no one sees, like, we're the Disneyland of sneakers. You can get ice cream, tattoo. Yo, this is the legacy that this man's built just by 
He's literally putting people on every day. And if you get a conversation with him, which is very easy to do because he doesn't shut up, literally, like he will put you on to how to do what he already did. And man, like it's, it's so valuable. I've gotten to chop it up with him you know many what? times. And it, like Chicago, again, I, I, I hate to sound like the try hard and I'm just trying to sound <laughs> like I'm trying to fit in Chicago, but like I genuinely rock with y'all. And it, you know, Every time I go to a city, whether it's Chicago or not, I try my best to hit a store that I haven't been to no before. So I can see, understand, learn, and there's figure always a out new their shop. bottlenecks. There's always, like, a, new there's always shop. a new shop, right? And I went to two, you know, I was with my man Vic Spencer right here. Shout out yes, to Vic sir, Spencer. Vic. Yo, Chicago, this is one of your own. You need to follow him. He's doing a lot of great stuff with the inner city kids out here. You need to get this dude to follow and pay attention to what he's doing. He needs y'all support. Uh, but uh, I was so impressed by a store out here called Unique Chicago. You guys know that store, right? Unique Chicago, show of hands, anybody know this store? Heard about it? Pretty much every relevant rapper within the city is rocking with this young man who is 15 years old. 15 years old, but let me, let me, let me go back four years when I happen to be randomly doing a trade-up challenge and yanking kids out of the line and handing people a hundred bucks and saying, hey, here, go. And there's this 11-year-old kid from the city of Chicago in the middle of Fort Lauderdale with his old man and I brought him in and I said, yo, why don't you take this hundred and see what you come up with? And it turns to $600. And that content's still there. If you guys know the face and the name of the kid that started that store, you know who I'm talking about. It won't be that hard for you to go back four years on my content and see this kid at 11 grinding crazy and I had a phone call with him the other day when I was here at 11.30 at night pretty much by myself folding all my merch and setting up for the next day fresh off a flight and I was like yo man I, I, you're, it's amazing to see and he tells me on the phone yo if it wasn't for you giving me this hunted I wouldn't have understood how simple the process is I wouldn't have been able to understand as fast as I did. And in four years, an 11 year old opened a store with support from some of the biggest influencers within this city. It's crazy, man. Right? We're trying to go to his store. He's not there. He's in school. He's in school <laughs> because he's a freshman in high school generating millions of dollars because it started at SneakerCon. Yeah, with you, with you putting them on. If that doesn't make you understand that the time, energy, and effort just needs to be focused on the positive aspect and you need to focus on the solutions instead of all the reasons why you shouldn't, I don't know what will. There's absolutely no reason, with no offense to that young man, I think he's an amazing human being, and at the rate that he's going, there's going to be statues of his kid in this <laughs> city by the time he's done. But there's absolutely no reason anybody that's in this room that is 15 years or older should be getting out work by a 15 year old. Yeah, no, nah, and, and there's a lot of there's a lot of 11, 12 year olds here that and are doing better than I am. <laughs> yeah. Yo, there's people in this building that are sitting here buying, selling, trading that go to every show that generate more revenue on a one man team than my entire store does in a year. <laughs> I'm not even like, yeah, there's no, not counting. You know, I'm not I'm not lying. And you wouldn't even know them. You wouldn't even know because they, yeah, they they're operate. Ninja. Yeah, they're, ninja. they're ninjas. They're ninjas. But not all of us are ninjas, and some of us are more than happy to help out others. And some of us need to, you know, tag along and get a better understanding of how to do it, the good, the bad, the ugly, and then do it better than me. In the meantime, I just want to help you get to some of this bread. And I, I made a post a couple days ago that I said I need to leave, I need to leave Chicago with a couple thousand pairs. And I see a lot of thousands of pairs and tables because I yes, got 412 sir. vendors and a bunch of people in the trading pit that are sitting here waiting for some action. But bro, I can't help you sell them if you leave them on the floor, but if you take them to my table, that shit is sold the second it gets to Vegas. I'm just saying, I can't force you to want to make money. And I seen it. Well, we, we sent you like 200 Travis, Mer Travis uh, Scott like hoodies. Bro, we sold like 75% of them in like three weeks. 200 hoodies. That's not even sneakers. I got seven That's figure. Merch. I got seven figure consigners getting six figure checks every single week. 
is moving. The product is moving. I mean, you can't say it enough. I mean, and I don't think, and, and again, y'all gotta understand, don't look at me as a brand. Yes, I'm building a brand, but I'm one of y'all. And I'm one of y'all that's been able to put $90 million back into the communities and into the streets and in seven years. And in the next three, we're gonna triple that with your help. So if you want me to help you, I'm not gonna keep beating a dead horse. <laughs> I really need pairs, bro, because if I don't get more pairs, eBay's not gonna let me keep doing this. <laughs> Johnny's not gonna let me sleep in my bed. And Billy and Bob, you're gonna make me have to go work extra hours. Cause, yeah. You already know what it is. I don't wanna trade in my Lambo, thank you. Yo, leave your pairs with Urban today. You guys already know, this man's gonna hustle hard to sell those pairs. And 10%, I mean, that's, that's the same as anywhere else. And he's working hard for that 10%, sometimes too hard. Go take a vacay, man. It's about time. I'll take a vacay when I die, bro. <laughs> Thanks, 2Js. Thank you, guys. Uh, I went ahead and traded up for the, um, the white cement fours and the desert moss fours and added 100 bucks. Could have gone with that. I mean, they are used. Not bad at all, dude. Yeah, nine out of 10 condition. Real clean. Real clean, but both of them wrapped up. Wanted a band. Couldn't go wrong with that. I also came up on these white cement threes. Also, size 11 and a half. It's a shoe I, I honestly wanted for a while. Since I was a kid, since they first came out too. I mean, the lace is a little dirty, but I mean, throw on some uh, brand new white laces. They're gonna be brand new. Stuff them up with some socks, iron them up. Got some dead stock white cement threes, Joe. Can't go wrong with that. <laughs> All right, y'all, uh, day two, over with, sneaker con. We're gonna head out to uh, actually uh, sneaker culture next month. I believe is in uh, Indianapolis. We're gonna go up, up out there, trying to find some more grills out there, probably cash out a little bit. Um, probably find some uh, pollen ones. Uh, what else? We probably try to find some shadow, some shadows 2.0s. We definitely can make some profit off them. Eventually, they're gonna hit their value. 300 bucks and up, give it about like two months, you're good. They're gonna hit definitely over 300. So besides that, I might came up off another grail, which was actually two grails I came up with. Some white cement threes from 2013. I believe it was 2013. And then I also came up with the, off the, the Cactus Jack, um, Cactus Jack fours, all blue ones, straight to the toes, all personals. But, uh, Hey, sneaker con, my first sneaker con. Can't go wrong with that. Once again, if you guys are interested in some custom, go ahead and hit me my IG. It's also gonna be in the description. 82 kicks, two is the number, Z at the end of kicks, and uh, we out at 3,000, y'all. You're telling me you don't like these. Oh, oh, this one's not brand new, Terry? Cool Ranch Doritos? Come on, <laughs> are you serious? Are you serious? And then like the plastic